Good morning, traders, and welcome back. Gates W. Adams here. I am your host. And today we're going to talk about more about the mental game of trading. It is not always easy to be a trader, uh, and it's certainly not always easy to continue to be a trader when you hit those tough points in your life, whether it be in trading or even outside of trading. And uh, today's guest is Stephanie, and she is just a beautiful, shining example of what it takes to let the will to succeed carry you through on today's episode of The Trader Bacon Show. Welcome to the Trader Bacon Show, where we showcase everyday traders that are getting funded, paid, and bringing home the bacon. Are you ready? Because the Trader Bacon Show starts right now. Stephanie, good morning. How are you? I'm wonderful. Excellent. Well, welcome to the show today. I definitely appreciate you taking some time to share uh, some of your uh, trading and some of your history with us today, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to what you have in store for us. Uh, now, as we get started, one of the things that we kind of like to do is really just uh, kind of touch on uh, the beginning stages of what it takes for you to start your day. So, so um, you know, as we kind of get uh, get things rolling here, uh, you know, every day is a different day. So as you move into pulling up your charts and getting ready to uh, to make those uh, critical decisions for the day, what does your routine look like? Where do you begin? Well, I strongly believe that trading is psychological. So I like to first put my mind into a positive mind state. Um, I always am grateful. The moment I wake up in the morning, I thank God that I'm awake. So I'm always show gratitude and I just learn to accept whatever my result is whenever I enter the trade. If I it's a if it's a win, I learned why I won that day. And if it's a loss, I write down why I lost those trades. Excellent. So of course that brings you into kind of the front end that brings you into the back end. Um, obviously there is a very specific process and, and for some people, of course, it jumps into technical analysis. It jumps into looking at, uh, you know, previous days charts and things like that. And so for you, obviously it's really about putting yourself in the right space. So, um, let's, let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, so the, the beginning stage. So you turn on your computer and where do you go from there? Well, I always look at the information as, as far as when it comes to news to see if there's any stir that's going on throughout our, our economy. That is very important. I learned that within my one year journey of trading um, that the news actually pushes the market a lot. Then I go ahead and I check my data to see what the market is doing. And honestly, my one tip I can say Never try to predict where the charts are going to go. Um, I like to just go with the flow, meaning wherever the market is flowing at that moment, I go in that direction. I don't try to be like, oh, maybe it might go or I think it might go. I just look at the data based on what it's telling me, then I follow its lead. And, and I think that makes a great point. A lot of times that predictive sort of sense, hey, I think it's going to do this. Hey, I think it's going to do that equates to more of an emotional response to the market versus an analytical response to the market. So um, obviously having that clean slate moving into what you're seeing, uh, taking all of that emotional sense of it away creates more of an analytical uh, response. Um, so you talk about the back end. So as soon as you finish up with your day, uh, now typically what does a trade day look like for you? Do you typically take one or two trades? Are you a heavy trader? What does that typically look like for you? Um, I guess you could say I'm a little bit of both when it comes to uh, heavy and multiple. So what I do is I do trade multiple accounts all at one time. Um, and but I, my one of my rules, which I have rules and guidelines that I keep myself into, which has allowed me to have at least an 80% success throughout the month. What I like to do is if I have a profitable trade throughout all my accounts, that's it. I don't go back in. I don't try to get more money. I just am grateful that I had a successful day. It's not about the amount of money. It's about how accurate you can be. Because once you're accurate, you can hit the mark every single time. 
So do you have a pretty good sense of what your trade success rate is? Yes, I do. Um, okay. Well, that, I normally like to trade uh, almost every single day that the market is available for us. But I've learned that good traders don't trade all the time. So I'm in that phase right now where I'm stepping away for a few days just to allow myself to process and then I'll go back in into the market. Excellent. So about how long is your trading day for you typically? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's not that long, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest with you. I'm I not. I don't spend all the day on the computer like most people. To be honest with you, I have my whole entire entire hours throughout the day to enjoy my sleep, to enjoy to do anything I want. So I don't. I have my methods. That's all I can say. Excellent, excellent. So what is your daily recap? You know, if you, if you've had a good trade, what if you have a trade that maybe wasn't the best execution, but it was profitable, or what if you have a trade that's a uh, uh, almost a, like an ideal, perfect execution and it goes against you. What does that do for your end of day? Okay, so the most important thing is I write everything down. So mm -hmm. this is one of my manifesting journals that I write every single thing down. If it's a good day, if it's a bad day, what I did from what I didn't do, um, the time, how I entered in, um, the, the state I was in when I entered in, I write everything down. And I know that a lot of us believe that we can keep it as a mental note. But to be honest with you, the pen is so powerful. When you write things down, you're literally writing it into existence. Like, okay, this is why. And I've seen that my trades, to be honest with you, have been way more successful the moment I write it down good or bad. It doesn't matter if it's a good day, if it's a bad day. Once I write it down, it's still a gain because now I understand what happened throughout that day. I can go back. I can go check. I can see, okay, this is what happened last month. And I always like to write little notes. Um, the theme of that month, you know, was it a major holidays? Did we have a lot of breaks? Is it the winter time? Is it summertime? Is it spring? Like all of this plays a huge role onto the market. Wonderful. Now you talked about the fact that you've been trading for just about a year now. Um, how did that actually come about for you? Where did trading meet Stephanie? So basically it fell into my lap, you know, like a, most of my opportunities that I get, uh, I am a person that like to listen to the whispers of life. You know, when I see an opportunity and it's an alignment to what I want to fulfill in my future, I give it a, I give it a chance and I do my research. I am a research queen. Like I research almost every single thing because I like to make um, sound decisions. I don't like to make haste decisions. And whenever I do make haste decisions, I tend to mess up. And that's one of my rules in trading. I don't go, like you said, go based on emotion. I go based on logic. You know, does it make sense? How do I feel? you know, for that day. And that's one of my little keys I can give to you guys. Always go into the market with a sound mind. Never go with emotions, never be upset. And if you really don't feel like entering the market that day, don't. Um, but trading found me and I went down the rabbit hole and I found amazing company and I'm with them now. And I'm just, I'm just excited to be here, you know? So, uh, and we're going to talk a little bit more about this later, but the journey hasn't exactly been easy for you, has it? No, it hasn't. It had its ups and downs, but you know what? That is that is what builds character. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're if you're looking for ease, then I'm sorry, that's not what life is. Life is going to give you those ups and those downs. And to be honest with you, you should be grateful that you get those ups and those downs because that, that means that... The universe thinks highly of you. It knows that it's going to give you things that you can overcome. It's up to you and your willpower to push through it, to see if you can overcome these obstacles. If you lose your job, what are you going to do? If you lose your home, what are you going to do? So these are just, these are foundations to build you, not to tear you down. Mm -hmm. I think that's a wonderful perspective, not just on trading, but on life. So 
as we go through here, we love to look at some charts and talk about trades. So at this point, let's go ahead and pull up. We've got some screenshots of, uh, of some of the charting and, and the work that you've done in terms of building your trades. Do you think you have an idea? Uh, can, can, uh, can you kind of show us a little bit about, like this is an example of a trade that, uh, that, you, that you take, that you would take. Will you explain to us what we're seeing here on the screen? Okay, so basically we're looking at the um, two-hour chart. And okay. what I like to say is use the tools that's in front of you. If you're on NinjaTrader, I don't know if you're on other platforms, but me personally, I love NinjaTrader because um, it has so much resource available at the tips of your fingers that you literally can just tell where the direction of the market. So this is the two hour chart. And basically what we're looking at is a reverse um, trend. At one point, the market was the sellers were in control and then we went to a consolidation area and then we reversed the trend and now the buyers are in control. And those little dashes that you see above and below is basically on, on the seller side, which is all the red, is basically higher, I mean, lower highs and lower lows. That means that it's going in a downtrend. And on the opposite side where you see all the green is where the buyers are at is higher highs and higher lows. That means we're going on an uptrend. So what I like to do is I like to utilize all the tools in front of me. You know, I mean, I can't stress that enough. You have to self-teach yourself when it comes to anything in life. It can be cooking, cleaning, writing, um, like uh, writing as an author, just doing anything in life, you have to do the back end. You have to do the research. You have to put yourself into the mix. So what I like to do is I like to like to map it out. I like to mark it up. I like to write little texts. I like to really see where the market is going. So this becomes from a I think to an I know. And that's why I say don't enter the market with a I think always enter the market with an I know. And based on the marking and the data, it backs up the I know. So we know it went from sellers being control to now buyers being control. And at the top part, um, right. this is something that I learned um, through another investment, uh, which is there's always invisible walls. At the top part, you can see the word where it says wall there. I think it's at 4493.75. Um, as you can see, there's a wall there. You might physically see with your eyes, but there is a wall there. Every time we travel in that zone, there's always resistance. And I've learned through other investments that um, to look out for these type of things. So I marked it up, as you can see, where it says wall. and currently today the market has it since what two weeks ago the market been trying to push up against that wall we've previously touched that area um in the next slide we'll be able to see that we previously touched that area but now we're back at the um the region where it's trying to go past that wall and that's right. why you see the word wall there now, at this point, obviously, we can see where you're tracking your lower lows, your lower highs. And of course, you have your low down here and then you break that that trend. Is this where you start looking? What what, what is what is it that you're seeing in this that tells you, hey, we're turning around? OK, so basically that's consolidation. I uh, Those are the areas when you see it's basically like in a straight line and there's no really going up or going down, those are consolidation areas. Those are areas where I like to say we're all coming together to decide what direction is the market really gonna go? Are we gonna continue to go down in the downtrend that we were in? Or are we gonna continue to go up? I mean, are we gonna go up in the uptrend? So basically those are areas, I call it the, 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 the room where we come together and we try and decide what do you want to do? And another thing I like to mention in a quick little tip is I call it the yin and the yang. Whenever there's a whole bunch of selling, they have to normally stop and they have to continue, they have to do a whole bunch of buying. They have to balance each other out. I haven't yet to see an area throughout the market. I went far as far as I can on my data. Most of the time, 
wherever there's a whole bunch of buying, there has to be a whole bunch of selling and vice versa. If there's a whole bunch of selling, I mean, oh yeah, a whole bunch of selling, there has to be a whole bunch of buying. So they always have to balance it out. Unless our economy is like falling apart, then you will see one or the other dominated. But most of the time, if there's a whole bunch of selling, there's a whole bunch of buying that's going to happen and vice versa. And that's so the of mine. And, yeah. and that's what you're looking for is that that movement maybe out of balance where you start to see that price shift? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Now, are these lines that you have on here, are these proprietary lines or are these actually just readily available to anybody? Um, Those little, the time of the blue line? Well, I'm talking about like the, the, the brown line, the white, the red, and the yellow. Oh, okay. Those are my, um, that's my uh, stra uh, indicators. So those are basically moving average. Like those okay. are, I use those to, um, most of the time they retrace in those zones. So I have the eight, I have the eight, the 14 and the 21. And I use those areas to enter as well. So gotcha. those are just so extra data for me to understand what to do next. So all of this represents ultimately a, a, uh, a decision-making process. You take all of these pieces of information and obviously now you know where you're going. Yeah. And that wall, I presume, does this give you your target? That area, I will consider that as a consolidation area as well. See, when we got to that uh, previous, all that green where you see it spikes up, yep, all mm -hmm. of that... We, the first it's, like, of the it's like it has to come down and cool off, you know? Mm -hmm. So what they did was they sh they shot up significantly. And then after they got to that zone, that invisible wall, they had to come back down. And that little small areas that you see are consolidation. Um, and then the next to it, you see another red, which is basically it coming down, which is considered as a retracement. And then they're going to shoot up. And then now, currently, right now, I, I believe we're like down. Right. From what okay. I checked this morning. Yeah. Fantastic. Now I'm going to take a quick break and just remind everybody that we are giving away three evaluations for Apex Trader funding. Uh, and uh, if you want your chance to win one of those, make sure you click the link in the chat right there and uh, enter your information. Make sure you have your chance on there. We will be giving three of those away. Don't miss out on the opportunity. If you do not happen to win one today, uh, you can go to apextraderfunding.com and get 80% off of any evaluation with promo code Benzinga. Now, Stephanie, this has been incredibly informative and we even have uh, uh, one of our commenters, Jess, talking about the fact that this is her favorite interview so far. And I can 100% uh, understand why uh, you, uh, she, claims, she states that you're super calm and clear with your explanations. And I think that this is just so truly helpful for uh, traders of every level, just trying to find their, their you know, getting in the zone. Now, um, as we have talked about uh, uh, previous to this, uh, this has not necessarily been uh, a, a simple road for you to, you know, learn how to trade, go in, make some money and boom, all of a sudden you're, you know, you're a successful trader. Um, and we talked about the mindset and the, the psychology of trading. And I think a lot of that comes from your background that, that stems even maybe a little bit prior to trading. You want to share some of that with us? Um, as, far as, my, as far as my will, when it comes to betting on myself, in 2015, I decided to leave my full-time government job, which included beautiful benefits. I decided to leave that job and to pursue a better version of myself, which was being fulfilled with what my heart desired. So the first photo you see is the actual day that I left my job. Um, I definitely had put my two weeks notice in but prior to. And the reason why I took a picture of this photo is because I was in a room and I had curtains covering the window, but there's like a little bit of light that can peek through. And I looked down and a rainbow was on my chair. So I took a picture of it. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, ever since then throughout this eight years, it's, it's been eight years, um, rainbows have been following me. Every time I take a step further to believe on myself and what I desire, a rain, I, I always see a rainbow. I don't know if that happens a lot in you guys' life. Comment into the live section if it does, if you see a lot of rainbows, but rainbows just be following me everywhere. 
they be creating literally inside the house, outside the house, and it just it just be so beautiful. You to see how the universe is communicating with you. I'll tell you, for me, it's a song that always comes up, but I do absolutely know what you're talking about. So from here, I mean, the journey continued. You didn't go immediately into trading at this point. Talk about what uh, what moved you forward. Okay, so just like most great people that have been through a lot of struggle, they've started in the garage. I started in a garage. Um, mm -hmm. And so basically, this was what I, this is all I had. I had a table. I had some extensions and I had a will. I did not have a plan, but I had a will and a desire to fulfill. So basically what I did was literally, uh, what I could say, four, four months, four or five months after leaving my job, I started to flip bundles. Um, I'm not going to go too much in details on that, but I literally went from zero to $9,000 within a few months. Um, and then after that, I started to just come up with different creative ideas. As you can see here, this is me outside um, of one of the largest flea markets in South Florida. I used to go out there every single day by myself um, and set up that big pink tent. And what I would do is I would find products that was very low, that beauty products that was very low and sell them very high. My will was always by my side because as you can see, I'm in my vehicle making a wig and selling hair outside at the same time. So I don't make, I don't waste any time when it comes to my life. I like to utilize every minute. Um, and there you go. There goes another rainbow. So right. this basically, I, I'm not even going to lie to you. Rainbows always follow me. And I just, I didn't want to put too much of the rainbows that I, uh, have come across, but I want to show you guys that, you know, if you ever feel like you're alone, if you feel like you lose your faith, you know, you don't, don't believe in yourself. You know, I don't know what everyone's religion is, but just believe in yourself and understand that you're not alone. I think, I think we've got uh, somebody online that is looking for that rainbow indicator for their charts, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can absolutely follow that. So you moved forward. Uh, you know, we'll kind of talk briefly about the the, the progression into, uh, you know, building yourself. Yes. Yeah, so I went from uh, the first photos you guys saw was I was at a table in a garage. All I had was a chair, a table. Now I have had progression and now I had my own workroom. So I had mm -hmm. a two bedroom, two bath condo and I turned one of my rooms into a salon. The flooring is by me. Everything is by me. And in this photo is when I started to come out of my home and I started to travel more. I met so much amazing people. I work with large companies that I can't even mention. I've had celebrities uh, as clients. So I went from believing myself and to actually I was I'm not going to lie to you. I'm actually, I used to be a girl who used to be scared to even talk to people, be in front of the camera. I used to be really timid when it came to just believing. And then now, as you can see, I've come very far. I've traveled, did people hair. And I wanted to show you guys, this is my background. This is uh, where my parents are from. I'm Haitian and Jamaican. And one of my affirmations that I strongly like to believe in is the world is mine. Anything I, I want, I can obtain it. There's no nothing I can't have. The moment I work towards it and I stick to it, I can obtain it. If I see someone with a big, beautiful house, I can I too can have that. If I see someone with a successful podcast, I too can have that. If I see someone with great health, I too can obtain that. And that's why I wanted to inspire you guys to let you guys know um, nothing is going to be easy, especially when it comes to the trading coming into the market and understanding the charts. It's your will that's going to get you those gains. And it's not about your skill. It's always going to be about your will. Um, whenever you lose a, a trade, always, always write it down. Don't beat yourself up. Don't get upset. Don't get mad. Turn your loss to your lesson. And then when you turn your turn it to a lesson, turn it to a win. Because because you're willing to learn from your mistake is what's going to make you avoid it the next time. 
So that's basically how my life is, you know? It hasn't been all roses. I've had, I've even had to even sleep in my car and trade from my computer in my car. So, hey, I'm willing to do what I got to do to obtain that future that I want. And I will. I think that's, I think that's amazing. And I think that, you know, obviously being a trading show and talking about your history with hair, the whole point is that it all comes together and everything that you have learned along the way has been a part of your trading journey in some form or fashion. That yes. pretty fair statement? Yes. That's that's amazing. And 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 I know that that uh, you know along the way, as you may as we mentioned, there's definitely been some challenges and some hardships and and some things that you've just had to overcome. We talked about sleeping in your car. It would have been really easy to make an excuse and say, I don't have a trading room. I don't have an internet connection. And what did you do? I um I set up out outside of McDonald's and I used their Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> I used their yeah. Wi-Fi. Listen, man. Yeah. If there's a will, like, who's gonna? I'm sorry to say to you guys, if you don't fight for you, who's gonna fight for you? You have to do the work. And the greatest um quote I saw this weekend was life doesn't have a remote so you have to go get up and change it you get it so you can't sit and be like oh i'm gonna change my life and sit back no you have to get up and put that effort in to get what you want sometimes i'm not gonna lie to you like be testing you to see do you really deserve this and you have to honestly have the mindset because yeah you can come big on a win tomorrow let's say you get thousands of dollars by tomorrow on a big trade right but do you have the mindset that comes behind it? Do you know how to keep it and maintain it or invest it? And are you properly going to understand the process? You can't skip these steps because these steps build your character. It makes you who you are. So the, the life, the journey, the gains, the loss, the starting from a garage, the being sleeping in my car for two nights, like the I'm willing to let the universe know this girl is not giving up. I will never give up. I cannot be defeated. And I will always believe in myself because I'm proud of myself. I've seen what I've been through and I've seen how I react. And that's why I have to love who I am because I, I don't give up and I don't make any excuses either. Well, real quick, because I know we do have some giveaways that we want to get to real quick, but let's talk about what's next for Stephanie. I mean, at this point, you have settled in you started to get some consistency and some some uh, some success as a trader where does this move forward for you to be honest with you gates i am going to just live in the now and allow the universe to take its course because if i were to tell you guys hey in three months or a year from now i'll be here i will honestly be lying to you guys i initially started off to be a teacher that's what i had my bachelor's in um, to help students with learning disability. And I don't do that now at all. You know, I love children. So that was my main push, the reason why I did that. But to be honest with you, my creative side of me took control. Like, it's like, nope, we don't want you to be in the classroom. We, I want you to be more. And I just been following where the universe wants me to lead. One of my passion is to be a motivation, motivational speaker and to be a life coach. So I do one day would love to have an auditorium full of people that's there just to hear me talk, to motivate them, to coach them, to show them that it's your will, not your skill. But I'm going to allow the universe to place me where I'm supposed to be and where I belong. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And I have no doubt you're well on your way. Where can people find you uh, on social media? <laughs> well, I do have a social media platform on YouTube. It's not around trading, so I don't want to disappoint you guys, but um, I will comment from my YouTube page on Benzinga's comment, and then if you guys click the link to follow me on my YouTube channel, you guys can, but it's not based on trading. It's just me and my creative expression. I'm on there just talking about things that enlighten me for the day, to be honest with you. But I'll comment judging, in the section and leave it there for you guys. Yeah, ju judging from the comments in there, I think that there's quite a few people who are interested in more of what you have to say, regardless of whether it applies to trading. So uh, love that. Love that. Awesome. 
Well, let's get down to business here because that was absolutely fantastic. I hate to stop it, but I'm going to get railroaded if I do not. So let's give away some evaluations today. How about that? Yes. Awesome. All Oops. right. Loved the story. Loved the interview. Uh, this is kind of like being God's voice. You can't see my face, but you can hear me. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, but we do have our win uh, winners. Excuse me. Let me go ahead and put that up there. Uh, Y'all will go ahead and get a code uh, by the end of today. So keep an eye on your emails that you submitted. Uh, Stephanie, it was absolutely lovely to uh, hear your story and uh, you. look forward to hearing many more in the near future. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank Kate, you. Your thoughts. Thank you, Zunaid. I appreciate that. And Stephanie, what an amazing 30 minutes we got to spend here. I wish it could have been longer. I know that we would have had quite a captive audience if we were able to, but uh, definitely have an opportunity. If you have an opportunity, check Stephanie out online. She is truly a remarkable woman and I'm very proud to have had her on the show. Um, and uh, don't forget next week, Monday, uh, 11 o'clock AM Eastern time, we will have uh, yet another trader on here sharing their story. Uh, and uh, actually uh, his name is Igor. We'll get some more details out as soon as we have uh, some specifics. So keep an eye out for that. And make sure you come back next week for another wonderful episode of The Trader Bacon Show. Welcome to The Trader Bacon Show, where we showcase everyday traders that are getting funded, paid, and bringing home the bacon.